Hello, this is Chris with PixelFreak.com, and today we're going to take a first look at the new game Cogs. Now, I just picked this game up... Whoa. I just picked this game up on a Humble Bundle, uh, the new one that just came out today. And if you don't know what Humble Bundle is, they are a nonprofit organization that gets together with a lot of indie developers, some of the best indie developers, I should say, and they bundle a few of their games together at a price of your choosing. That's right, you get to choose what you're going to pay. Now, there's some limitations on this. There's a minimum price that gets set, but you can pay basically whatever you want to, and you can choose how they split it up. So Humble Bundle can take a little bit of the money so they can continue to operate and continue to you know, provide bandwidth so you can download the game. They also allow you to split up some of the money into the Child's Play charity, which does a lot of great things for kids that are suffering. So you can put some of the money into that and you can choose how much money goes to the developers. So really, you're the one that gets to choose how much they make and how much each individual uh, entity gets to make. Uh, I highly suggest you go check it out. You can find the link on our website, pixelfreak.com. That's pixel-freak.com. Or you can also go to Google, do a quick Google search for Humble Bundle, and that'll take you to the exact same website. Uh, we like to support uh, Humble Bundle, and so we'd hope that you like to support them as well. Anyways, let's jump into COGS and take a look at this game. This will be the first time I've played this. I haven't actually launched this game yet, as with all of our other uh, first look video reviews. Anything gonna happen? Ah, oh, there we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Lazy 8 Studios. So I have no idea what I'm about to get into here. It's always exciting doing these first look videos when I've, you know, I hear, oh, this new game came out and I have no idea what it's about. Oh, it's kind of cool 3D effects. Okay, let's not do options, let's not do how to play, let's go straight into... Oh, inventor mode. Challenge mode is locked. Well, let's just jump right in. I, I, I want to just jump in and check it out. Gears play. So it must be a puzzle game. Rearrange the gears so that they turn the gold gear. Tap a tile to slide. Play. There we go. Okay, so this is a puzzle game of some sort. That's kind of cool. Okay, oh, I get this. Oh, but it's like those number games. That didn't do me any good. Oh, this looks like fun. This is like totally up my alley. There we go! Got it! Oh, this looks like fun. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Solution found. Oh, and it raids you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This looks like a fun game. So this reminds me, they have like these ones where it's like the parking lot game where you have to unblock the cars, and there's one with like numbers where you have to... It was actually in the first Final Fantasy for the NES. If you, um... You have to press B, A, and select while you're in the boat 50 times. And if you do it real quick, it, it opens this uh, puzzle game where you get to move the, the numbers around. You have to put them in a certain order. And uh, yeah, I don't think you get anything for it, but it's just kind of a cool puzzle thing. This is uh, very similar. All right, let's go to the next level. Come on, play, play, play. Uh-oh, we got a force close. Let's go, so I'll boot it back up. I bet it'll, it'll go right back into it. No white screen that time. So as, as often, uh, I hear a lot of people complain, especially on, you go to the Google Play Store and you look at reviews, I see a lot of people um, talking about problems they have with compatibility issues. And that's one of the only closes that I've gotten in, I'd say, days. So as much as you hear about compatibility issues with devices and people having forced closes, I don't, I'd have to say that I don't get the same experience. Is this the same puzzle? I think it is. I think I accidentally just went into the same thing. Oh, well, I solved it pretty quick that time. Yeah, that was the same puzzle. Okay, continue. Oh, okay, okay, so I can touch that thing on the right. Wow, didn't even notice that. 
Oh, this is pipes. This reminds me of uh, Bioshock. There's only... Oh, so I have to have... No, 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 that one's gotta go there. And then I need it. There we go. kind of funny because a lot of times you get these puzzle games and a lot of people like to sit and think at them. I like to just keep moving. Like, I'm the type of guy that just likes to, you know, let's just keep shit rolling. We'll figure it out. As long as we're moving, we'll figure it out. Eventually, it'll, it'll click. One chime. Also, there's a different kind of piece going on here. Maybe... I'm guessing that needs to be there. Like that? What am I supposed to be doing? Interesting. Good score, good score. Let's do a couple more. So this is a pretty fun game. It looks like it's a lot of uh, little puzzles. I think this, this lends itself really well to a smartphone game. Um, it seems like it, it's got a little depth to it, it's going to make you think, but it also can be played pretty well on the go. And the, the touch screen is, is just perfect for this type of game. Jack in the box. So I'm liking this game. Turn the crank, drag with two fingers. To, oh, so you got another close. Now, hopefully they come up with an update for this game, because uh, that's two closes in a row. Maybe I'll send them an email. You know, I'd also like to recommend anybody that's listening to this, you know, if you have compatibility issues with a game you have, email the developer. Don't just run out and start giving them one-star reviews. These guys work hard, you know, and, and they deserve... Hopefully, they'll work with you if you want a refund for your for your applications, but I really would hope that you wouldn't just run out and s totally slander the game just because your particular device doesn't work. You know, a lot of these games are really great games, and, and they deserve to be rated appropriately. All right, let's go adventure mode. Try again the Jack of the Lots one. Turn the crank. Oh, I got another close. Okay, let's give it one more try. We'll definitely send an email out to the Lazy 8 Studios here. Uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate I'm having a little bit of issues with it, but uh, you know, hopefully I get an update out pretty soon and I'll, I'll get to get to have this game. I can I can also you know play it on my tablet, so I I guess I have the benefit of having multiple devices. Um, but that's probably not the case of, with everybody. This time we'll go ahead and jump into challenges. I'm not I'm not gonna you know keep trying the same door. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to end this one. Oh, maybe not. And we're back. So, little performance issues, too. That's unfortunate. So, let's go to challenge mode. Challenge mode. Oh, we got time and we got moves. Move fast. You have just 30 seconds to solve each level. Let's do time. That's, that's my... That's my thing. Uh-oh. We got another freeze up. So they're having some issues with it. Uh, I'm actually doing this on a Droid X2, in case anybody's wondering. That's a Tegra 2 device. So if you're using a Tegra 2 device, at this point in time, you might see similar performance issues for the game. I'm going to go ahead and email the dev. Hopefully they'll get this 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 thing figured out. But uh, I'm a patient guy. I hope you guys are uh, patient as well. So we're going to close it up for COGS. It looks like a pretty good game. Uh, I'll definitely want to do a review for that. Hopefully it works a little bit better on my Asus Transformer Prime. Um, so I can do a full review with without it closing on me all the time. Um, and hopefully the dev will, will get those issues worked out as well. 
Anyways, this has been Chris with PixelFreak.com. You can check out our website at PixelFreak.com. That's Pixel-Freak.com. Make sure and like all of our videos and subscribe to find out more about what's going on in the Android game space.